beats but talk is peace I walk the streets where artsy markets be Many promoters rub my lip but yo they talk is cheap right. Across the street I see a couple cats sparking beef Lost to me as into urban youth and heat for cheap prices I operate my devices Transmit through speakers to communicate what life is Giving more than just my two bad knuckles to fight with Spirit motivated to elaborate that Christ lives I'm a fan of the slam dance passion and movement When the chains loosen, crash course exclusive Landscape destructor with a love for trying to build Start from scratch to accurately capture what I feel I'm ill from a contagious sickness I'm in the midst of individuals channeling energy So intense that it's instant upon exposure Ready to strike like the cobra I contend for what I know is truth until the game Oh man You're listening to the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network The show is coming up in about two minutes Don't go away, stay tuned with the positive vibe, optimist opportunities, not often to offer options, dangerous mind with a clear conscience, open up and you might get it, that's right, I said it, one of the four to testify, you're living like head, if your fault might check, tenant, put it in it, Abraham, the Senate, bet I'm wrecking it, isolate your style so you're not tempted to blend it with the temperament of the popular developing tenement to skill, that's why I make sure my step to the rhythms original, skip the bullseye, common vision, ends up in crowded tenants, an orthodox approach so I aim for the outer edges. It's about to be on and popping. Show coming up in about a minute and a half. Stay tuned. On and on, I'm on the Odyssey, audit in the product of modern artistry. Don't bother me, I'm honestly starting too hard and too hard. The common songs are talking our problems, but never commenting on proper ways to solve. Call a response from the audience is all the dollar needs to start it all again. Right. Solomon is said it, our investments would expose the hearts uh-huh. and tenants. All the all the again. You're locked and loaded and listening to the Stuart Media and Entertainment Network. Y'all don't hear me though. The show is coming up in about 30 seconds. Don't go away. Stay tuned. Some of it in numbers while the crowd was getting lost in it. The gathering for unity has proved to be the start of it. Yeah, hip hop is an economist, so like, I'll have a problem with it. Can't we all just play our role and live the way that God intended? Cause see, when the song is ended, try not to be all offended. I'm coming to shots intending to water the land in me. Stuart Media and Entertainment, let's go! Yo, 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 check this out, check this out. Wait till they pick up the phone. Check this out. Hello, Public Factory. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I speak to Dan Patrick or, or Colin Cowherd or Skip Bayless or that ninja Stephen A. Smith? Nah, bruh. They not here. Hey, hey, yo, tell them. Dougie Stewart and the Stewie said, since they think they show hot and they sports talk, guy talk soldiers, tell them we'll go to war. Listen up, sports talk show fans and puppet factory refugees. Tired of predictable rants, relentless bullfish, and politically correct propaganda? No worries. Doug Stewart to the rescue. Oh, poke ass Tom Brady! The police think they can shoot a ninja in the back just because he's a ninja? I say... Yes, sir! Get the hell out of here with that scripted sports talk radio. Because you just entered the TDSS zone. Ball peanuts for you! Tell the truth and shame the devil! I don't know what they want from me, man! I I feed them, and I clothe them, and I rejuvenate them! That's inflation, baby! Buckle up, boys and girls, and get ready to ride raw. With the realest, trillest sports and guy talk show in the world. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Yes! Talk that in my ear, but let shit come down here. Anyone else that won't hurt, you can trust it. Ain't no fear, 
Show. Hey, Fab, bring it back for your boy. Bring it back. Whoa. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Doug Stewart Show. And this is a Tribute Tuesday. Good morning, Stewies. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Stewies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining me on the Doug Stewart Show, the realest, trealest sports and guy talk show in America. <laughs> Woo! The Falcons going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> the more and more I think about it, man, the more and more it, it becomes uh, – it, it becomes a crazy story to me that the Atlanta Falcons are headed to the Super Bowl. We'll talk about that today on the show, as well as a bunch of other things. Today is a Tribute Tuesday. You see the title of today's show, Quintaris Lopez-Jones, Ain't Never Scared. I'll tell you more about that in a second. Um, but Super Bowl talk for the next two weeks. And today we'll talk about uh, everything and all things Super Bowl. We'll also talk a little bit of NBA. Russell Westbrook, man, he don't give a F. You know he don't give an F. Uh, my Los Angeles Lakers are struggling a little bit right now. But you know what it is. Once again, two weeks before the Super Bowl, we'll talk Super Bowl all day long. Julio ain't scared. Super Bowl talk. Tickets moving kind of slow. The cheating ass Patriots rear their ugly head again. <laughs> Birthdays, entertainment. We'll talk about Stacey Dash. She just like me. Tell you about that later. But if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, there's a couple things I need you to do. I need you to go to Spreaker.com, that speaker with an aura, all right? Search and find the Doug Stewart Show once you do that, and when you find it, hit the follow button. That's very important that you hit that follow button so that when this show or any other show on the network goes live, you'll get an alert. And the second thing I need you to do, if you got the ability to do it, if your boss isn't on your back like the hag, is to click on the little chat bubble icon we have the best chat room in the world. I call it the Fantasy Island of Sports and Guy Chat. And its inhabitants, the people inside that chat room, I call them the Stewies. Good morning, Stewies. And so post your thoughts in the chat room, man. I read it all throughout the show. It makes this the most interactive sports and guy talk show in America. Uh, we do a lot of things around here, man. We do Dougie Dailies. We do top fives. Dougie Daily is basically where I throw out a question and y'all kind of respond to it. Uh, we do top fives. Uh, I need to do a top five today. Today is a good day to do a top fives. Maybe we should do some type of top five surrounding the, uh, the Super Bowl. I'll take suggestions in the uh, chat and we can do one on the fly. Um, and we read a lot of chat. Speaking of chat, uh, the, the chat makes this the most interactive show in the world once again. And so we read a lot of chat. It kind of spurns conversations, and that's how we do it. You can also call the show at 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. And, uh, and let's get it in today, Stewart. Let's get it in. Happy Tuesday. All right, so let me tell you. Let me tell you about. About today's uh, musical guest, the the tribute that we're going to have today. Today, we are paying homage to the Underground Kings, but most people know them as UGK. (laughs) Yes, sir! (laughs) 
UGK, short for Underground Kings, was an American hip-hop duo from Port Arthur, Texas, formed in 1987 by the late Chad Pimp C. Butler and Bernard Bun B. Freeman. They released their first major label album, Too Hard to Swallow, in 1992, followed by several other albums charting on the Billboard Top 200 and top R&B hip-hop albums charts, including the self-titled Underground Kings album, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 in August 2007. The duel has also been featured on hit singles by several other artists, such as Big Pimpin' with Jay-Z, Sippin' on some Serp, 3-6 Mafia, uh, Mafia, Pimp C found the UGK Records in late 2005 on December 4, 2007. Pimp C was found dead in West Hollywood, California, in his hotel room, man, today. Uh, it's 2017. We loosened up the reins a little bit. Last year, the year before that, we wouldn't play too much Pimp C or UGK or none of that because they cuss too much. But this is 2017. <laughs> 2017 today we honor the great UGK I'm telling you right now alright I'm telling you right now Rail Scott if you in your, your job and you got the, the music on or your desk or something like that you better put on some headphones right now I'm telling you today we paying tribute to the great UGK early this morning we gonna get you crunk early this morning Yeah, we're going to get you Krug early this morning, man. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Show.com. Shouts out to my man, Bomani Jones. Um, I put it out late yesterday. I actually uh, got tied up and, and didn't alert the Stewies about it earlier, man. But I actually did a little quick hit on uh, the Atlanta Falcons on Bomani Jones' show on ESPN. Shouts out to Bomani, man, throwing your boy a bone. Yeah. Went on, did like a little quick five, six minute hit talking about the Falcons, man. And that's that's what everybody's talking about in the world of sports, man, is, is the Atlanta Falcons. And we talked about it yesterday, the fact that the Falcons are only a three-point underdog in this game to uh, start off the line or, or the way Vegas sees it uh, at the start. And so only a three-point underdog to the New England Patriots, the Vaughn and New England Patriots that have had all this success over the last – you know, 15 years and all of the Super Bowl wins. They've, uh, what, won four, lost two. And um, so that's what everybody wants to talk about, man. But I get the sense in talking to people that that this this thing ain't going to be no pushover, man. I think even the, the most staunch football fans realize that what they see on the field and what they've seen on the field from the Atlanta Falcons over the last six, seven, eight weeks, man, is the real deal. Like, this isn't going to be no pushover and um, the Patriots just going to come in there and roll over the Falcons. It's not going to be like that at all. I'm telling you, it is not going to be like that at all. And so, Bomani had me on, man, to talk a little bit about the Atlanta perspective and about this team and the evolution of this team and, um, you know, what's been the key to their success. And I just can't give enough credit to Dan Quinn. I can't give enough credit to Dan Quinn, the new head coach. Uh, it was not the new head coach, but – uh, was the new head coach now in his second year as the head coach of the uh, of the team. Uh, just done a phenomenal job just to change the culture, the, the attitude of the players, man, and what you see out there on the field. Uh, the speed of the team, the speed of the defense, the, the players that they drafted. You know, Scott Pioli, the assistant GM, Thomas Dimitrov, the GM, um, uh, and Dan Quinn coming in here as a team, as a unit, man. It's incredible to see what they've done in just two short years. And as much as the media, <laughs> and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, as much as the media, as much as all these New England Patriots lovers, these Tom Brady testicle riders want to say that the Patriots going to just dominate this game, that's not the case. That's not the case. And I think a lot of people, man, feel like the Falcons got a real shot and I've said this before, I'm sure I'll say it many more times before the game in two weeks or a little bit.